In today's Madden 21 quick tip, I'm going to be breaking down a coverage defense that you can use to really help defend the pass and against most meta uh, offensive route concepts that you're going to go up against. So let's check this out. If you guys have never been to my YouTube channel before, my name is Cody, and I just want to take this opportunity to welcome you to my channel. My YouTube channel is entirely devoted to helping you get your game better at Madden 21. I do that through posting four videos a day here on YouTube that are designed to help you with some type of strategic tactic uh, tip or concept that you can apply to your game. So let's jump into the video. All right, so what you're going to want to do here, this is out of the big nickel over G. And one of the things that you're going to want to do is you're going to want to sub in uh, basically your fastest corners on the out uh, or at safety position. So wh whoever your best coverage guys are, I would recommend putting them at safety position or this slot corner. So uh, Jair Alexander is going to go in the slot for me here. And then over here on the left, K Kadar uh, Holman is going to go in the slot. At the bottom, these guys are just your run-of-the-mill co average corners. They don't have to be super special. And then uh, what I like to do is put really, really fast guys in this uh, linebacker position here. So I got Adrian Amos and Darnell Savage there. And then on the back end here, I'm going to put Will Redman in there. He's got 90 speed. So we got really good speed everywhere. And then on the line of scrimmage, put your best um, blitzing nose tackle here. So that's going to be Kenny Clark. Dean Lowry is going to go right here. And then Zadarius Smith's going to go on the right side. That's your best pass rusher on the right side. And then on the left side is just a good fast zone guy that you can put out in a coverage. For coaching adjustments, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go ahead and turn baseline on, ball and air defense to play ball, option defense on conservative, tackling aggressive, and then for zone drop flats, what I like to do is put these at five yards. And then on the curl flats, I like to put these at 20 yards. You can also flip these if you want to. Um, but I actually recommend uh, doing it just like this right here. And then hook zones, you don't have to put these at 10, but I do recommend doing that as well. All right, guys, so Big Nickel over G is kind of a really good formation. There's a lot of different coverages you can create, but there's this very specific thing that I love about Big Nickel over G that you can only do from Big Nickel over G that you can't quite do uh, from other formations, and that is the power of the deep third and deep half uh, so what we're going to do is we're just going to go up against, I've got the uh, Redskins playbook here, and so we're just going to go up against some of the meta uh, mesh posts or uh, some of the tactics that people will use from this. And the play we're going to come out in is corner blitz three. Now literally all we're going to do is we are going to press coverage, pinch our defensive line, crash our defensive line up, and then we're ready to make coverage adjustments. The coverage adjustments that you're going to want to make on this is you're going to want to put both of your outside corners into uh, flat zones. You're going to want to put your left of screen defensive end into a curl flat. You can also put him into a bluff blitz. As you see, it's going to put him into a hook zone. But I personally like to put him into a curl flat. And then I like to take Dean Lowry here and put him in either a bluff blitz or a spy. This right here is going to be your user player, Darnell Savage. And then all you're going to do is hot route Alexander to an outside third on the right-hand side of the screen. So now you see this is basically um, kind of a makeshift cover, um, cover three cloud type of play. But this really does take away a lot of these underneath like crossing routes, underneath routes. And one of the other things I do want to show you really quickly is if, you, if you're facing someone that's throwing more direct flats, so they're like throwing quick hike uh, flat routes, then you're going to want to use this coverage. And then if you're using someone who is running more of your um, inside flats, then you're going to run to use a different one. But you see here, mesh post, you're going to typically be able to uh, handle most of what your opponent's going to throw at you. The crossing routes is really what's going to be taken away by these zone coverages, um, as well as like some of the some of the quick shoot flat routes that are becoming really popular. I mean, I personally love the shoot flat routes this year. But what you'll see here is if I just get off of off of it and let the defense let the coverage be what it's going to be, this mesh post route is completely taken away. As you can see, there's just nowhere to go with it. What's also really cool about this coverage show is let's say they run like the let's say they run the play cross. This will be something that you'll probably face. Uh, what you'll see, and this is really, really good against Bunch, in my opinion. It's probably best against Bunch. But you'll see there's the setup. There's the covered shell. On the left side, I'm going to try to fit this route into Damari Cooper at the snap of the ball. And what you're going to see is I'm going to try to throw it right there. 
and you see that I can basically see where see the positioning and I did complete the pass but what I want to do is show you right now in instant replay if you take a look at the positioning of the corner uh, of the deep safeties when you put them in an outside third as opposed to putting them into a deep half it changes how they play these routes you see that the the safety is in a little bit more of a position to you see how he's wider to the outside he's not as much in the middle of the field because he's dedicated to the outside third that is going to help you in defending those um those streaks so if i run this play again what you'll see if i go to play cross and i'm going to try to just click on here but i drop back try to throw this and then i can click onto the corner and easily intercept it that's what this really allows you to do. It allows you to run um, a really nice cover two basic type of scheme. And the cool part is you could, if you wanted to do this from cover two, you 100% could. Uh, I think it's easier to do it from this corner blitz because what you can do is on these uh, safeties, you can put both of them in outside, thir outside thirds. Um, let me show you this outside third to the right. So there you see these two go into outside thirds. This guy goes into a deep half see all the different coverages that you can create from this big nickel over G. Um, it really is. And you see, I can basically recreate the same, the same basic uh, idea, the same basic tactic uh, that I was doing. It just takes a little bit more adjustments. If you don't do it from the corner blitz uh, three here, you see, you have a couple more adjustments that you have to make, but this is in essence, the coverage show that you're going to want to run. And then, like I said, I'm going to be putting this guy right here, Sometimes I'll even drop him into a middle third and then you see here you can do basically a little swap uh, Exchange user Redmond. So now you have even more uh, Deep middle coverage and then you can kind of come right in here and if they try to throw mesh post I mean, it's gonna be a cloud of people. They're not gonna have a really good opportunity to get them in One other route I did want to talk about is the crossing route now. This is uh, universal coverage like I said it covers both sides and if you want to switch it up based on tendency you 100% can there's not there's no nothing special to this other than the idea of the outside thirds everything else is just a Mabel coverage but what I do want to show you is how does this defend crossing routes well the deep cross uh, is basically non-existent as you see here I'm, he's gonna run right into Adrian Amos you're gonna be able to defend crossing routes corner routes flat routes post routes pretty much all the popular routes you're going to be able to handle pretty nicely with this defensive coverage. Now, again, you want to be mixing this in with man coverage. You want to be mixing this in with some other coverages as well. But this is a solid base coverage that you can use out of the Big Nickel Over G. Wanted to do a quick video on this because I know a lot of people are looking to switch to Big Nickel Over G for all the coverages you can create. And I just wanted to cover the outside third technique. That little technique right there to me is such a such an important technique. Because when you're starting to face people and they're running these um, quick seam routes to like Amari Cooper uh, on this, what you're going to see here is that outside third, even though I can click on and user catch the wide receiver, it also gives the defense the opportunity to click on and they can user, um, they can user the safety here. I'm going to throw it at the same time, but now I just click on. And it's completely different. I think he ends up coming down with it there, but I at least have an opportunity to play. Those outside thirds are going to allow you to pick most of those uh, seam streaks that people are going to throw against cover two. Well, thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you have not already, I want to encourage you to go ahead and jump into my community Discord. Discord is a great place to be able to connect, talk Madden, and get new lab partners. It's a great place. It's, it's helped me personally get better at this game. Basically, it's where my community hangs out. You know, it's kind of hard to quote unquote hang out on YouTube a lot um, because it's you, you don't you're not able to follow up 24 seven discord. You're able to chat anytime, anywhere from your mobile app. So it's just a great opportunity. If you haven't joined it, there's a link in the description to join my channel's discord. Thank you so much for watching. We've got a couple more videos coming for you on the YouTube channel. So be sure to subscribe so that way you don't miss an upload. And we will be going live this evening probably around 11 o'clock uh, Eastern time. We'll do a little bit of a later night stream tonight.